Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today you guys will be sharing with you my full home tour. So I'm gonna give you a tour of the outside area including my front porch as well as give you an update on my patio. So on my front porch I just added a lot of green plants and flowering plants. Now all of these plants are supposed to have beautiful flowers on them but some of them since I moved them to the front porch they have like not really bloomed so I think I need to relocate a lot of these flowering plants back to my backyard because this porch doesn't just get a lot of sun it's just mainly like a shaded area so I think that's one issue why some of these plants are not flowering like they're supposed to but anyway we're going to start here with this plant here this is called a mandevilla vine i shared this uh plant with you all in my patio video and she grows these beautiful pink trumpet flowers absolutely gorgeous she is she grows very vigorously vigorously and she is a vining plant so i think i am going to relocate her because in the backyard she has so many beautiful blooms but up here she only has like a few and then this planter here, I actually created this. The planter I got from Home Goods, and then I just added some Bird of Paradise as the centerpiece, and then I added some caladiums around her, around her base or whatever. And she's a nice little shade container, and then she's doing perfectly over here in this little corner. And then this little welcome sign I had for about two years now i picked it up from hobby lobby i think i got it 50 percent i think the regular price was like 50 something dollars and i think i got it for like maybe 25 dollars then uh, my mats here are new i think i shared these in the haul with you all so i got those from target and then here i have a mona lavender swedish ivy she grows these beautiful purple uh stalks when she's in bloom right now she does have a bunch of green on her because like i said it is shaded up here so i might have to move her to the back but i'll insert a clip to show you what some of these plants are supposed to look like when they're in full bloom because she is gorgeous when she's in full bloom and then here i have a, another one of those mandevilla um mandevilla vining plants and this is in a beautiful red color and she has beautiful red uh trumpet flowers on her as well once she's and uh once she's blooming but right now she has just a lot of green because there's hardly no sun up here this little uh table that i have the plant sitting on i did have that many years ago from ross i just diy'd and sprayed it black so that is my front porch you guys and oh and then my little wreath here i got from home goods i got that back in february or march so yeah so this is what everything is looking like so far i just want to keep it really simple and just add a lot of plants natural plants to my um front porch okay you guys so now we are entering my front door so i'm standing by my front door so when you enter my home this is what it looks like so i have a very open concept floor plan so i absolutely love it so it's very spacious everything is kind of like one big space so i absolutely love that but we do have some separation from the family room and kitchen area so when you walk into our home this is what it's looking like so i'm gonna give you just an overview of the space and then i'm gonna go through and share with you all i'm gonna go through and try to answer as many questions as i can because i do get a lot of questions and comments on some of the decor pieces that's in here so i'm gonna go over all of that in the video and also try to share with you where you can find some of this stuff at as well so yeah, so make sure you grab you a cup of coffee, grab you a glass of wine, depending on what time of day you are watching this video because it's gonna be kind of long. So I am gonna go through and share with you um, all of our updated rooms that we have done. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna start on this side of the room. So I did paint my interior doors um, black maybe about a year ago that you will see throughout my home and the black accents is called limousine leather, just like a really nice, elegant black. And my color scheme for my home is um, black, gray, and cream. That is, and then a little bit of white. So that's the kind of color scheme that I've been going for. My decor style is definitely a more of a modern glam, um, yeah more of a modern glam contemporary style i kind of got it all meshed into one but i absolutely love it so yeah so over here so one of our first projects that we did maybe about a year ago was creating this wall here so in my living room when you look forward this is if you were sitting on a sofa you will look here to this wall and this wall if you've been with me for a while has changed several times so we wanted to add something to make it pop so i recently had my credenza there but i did change up this room 
quite a bit since the last time you guys have saw it. So this fireplace, I did get it from overstock.com and I did recently have it in my master bedroom. You probably have seen it in there. So I decided to move it back out to this space here. So yeah, I love this fireplace. I had it for maybe about a year now, maybe about two, maybe about two years now. But yeah, I love it because it does have that herringbone marble uh, detail around the surround. And then it does heat up, which I don't hardly ever turn it on heat because we live in Texas is always hot. So, but it do give a nice ambiance, especially during the fall and Christmas season. It kind of gives a nice little ambiance. And then it kind of adds a little bit of detail to um, the home as well. So yes, yeah, so I'll have that link down in the description box below if you guys are interested, but it is from over, overstock.com. And then, like I said, the accent wall, my husband and I did DIY. We didn't film this on camera, but I should have filmed it on there because I did get a lot of questions regarding this. It's just a board and batten pattern. The picture that we actually, I'm gonna show you with, I'm gonna try to pull up on the side um, my inspiration piece and show you all what inspired me to add this to my home because it is not an original design, but it is a um, inspirational piece that I picked off of the picture. fireplace. I just have it styled with um, some accessories. So this, this vase here is actually a new purchase. I purchased this vase from Z Gallery. So I'll have it linked down in the description bar below if you guys are interested. I have these Snapdragons. These things um, I always get questions about. They do sell them at Hobby Lobby and then they do have them at Michael's. And then this artwork I got from Home Goods. I have two of these. I have one here and then I have one in my laundry room. I was looking for a third one, never was able to find a third one. And it's been almost about maybe a year ago. So yeah, but it's a really nice, pretty, a really nice piece. I just love it. it has that nice, crisp, clean, kind of modern vibe to it. And you know, it has a little bit of abstract art with a little bit of gold in there. So I love that. And then also I got these can't these um, candle holders are from Pottery Barn. I absolutely love it. They're made of brass. It just adds a nice uh, detail, brass detail to my space. I love mixing. You will see that my house has a lot of chrome and um, silver and brushed nickel details, but I also like to mix my metal. So you'll see a little bit of brass and gold in there as well. But these candles holders are from Pottery Barn. So I'll have these linked down in the description bar below if you guys are interested. These little Ottomans I got from Wayfair, but I have seen them at several different stores. They do carry them sometimes at Home Goods. They do carry them at Overstock.com, and even Amazon have some to have some that looks like this. So you can definitely check these out and um, find them in other places. But I'll have them linked down in the description bar below, and I'll share the link where I actually purchased them from. But I did get them from Wayfair. They do come in other colors, and then the band on the side. This is a little silver. This is in silver, but that band does come in like gold and um, different other metals as well. So yeah, so I absolutely love this mirror. And the mirror itself is a is a bevel is a beveled mirror. It has a lot of um, nice silver beading detail around the edge of it. And I picked this mirror up from Wayfair. So if they still have it in stock, I'll have it linked down in the description box below as well. Then also, um, as you can see in the mirror, I did add a chandelier to this room as well. And I absolutely love it. It's another one of my favorite home decor pieces in here as well. I picked this chandelier up from overstock.com. So they do have a matching, um, they do have a matching dining room chandelier that's like the more uh, oblong shape that I want to get for the dining room area because I kind of got this one over here, which is not the same brand but one similar, but it's a little bit smaller. But the dining room one has been out of stock for a long time for that to be um, become uh, back in stock. But anyway, so moving on. So I'm trying to give you guys a home tour. I wanted to give you a home tour in the daytime, you know, kind of natural light kind of thing, but it's been kind of dark and gloomy because it's been raining a lot lately. And I think everywhere across the United States, it's just been raining like crazy. So it's been dark and gloomy. So I've been trying to get this video out and try to shoot it in the best light. So I do apologize if it seems a little bit dark in here, but 
yeah so this is the living room area here and this room i did this space i did change up a little bit as you guys can see um i don't know if you guys are new here but i did add some um, picture frame molding to the living room area now you'll see throughout the house that we have added this uh trim detail in several of our other rooms too i think it just really adds a nice character to the wall we added this to our living room wall as well the artwork is an old artwork that i have for probably over 10 years it's just a, a picture of the views of the living Karen. room here i did recently change out my area rug i was looking for something that had more of a, a gray black and white color scheme to it and I've been looking for a while, so I actually found this one from the at-home store. So I know my other rug that I had, I had that rug for over seven years. This was old, so it was time for me to change it. I know it didn't kind of meet the, I know it didn't kind of um, flow with the rest of the room. I was able to find this rug here from the at-home store. So it was very affordable, it's not expensive as at all. So I'll have it linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested. But I love the detail on it. It's really good quality for the price. And it has that, like I said, it has, it's more white than gray, which that's what I wanted. I want something to kind of tie the color scheme together in this room. So it's definitely a lot more white than gray. So it has a little bit of gray, a little bit of black in there. So that's what I was looking for. And then this rug is an eight by 10. And then I actually end up getting the same size for the dining room rug as well. So yeah, so I'll definitely have this link if you guys are interested down below. One thing I can suggest and I would, I would definitely recommend when you're decorating your home, always try to mix high end and low end. You will see in my house, I have several items that are high end and I have some items, a lot of items that are like low end because I kind of try to mix them together to kind of create that balance. So everything doesn't necessarily need to be high end in your home. You just kind of choose which items to spend your money on that means the most to you and which items you don't. Now for me, I like to um, have a rug that's really nice and soft on my feet. So I don't really care if it's, you know, costs a lot of money. If as long as it's good quality and it's inexpensive, that's fine with me and it looks good. So yeah, but definitely for my, my high end stuff, like my sofas, my furniture, I always try to spend a little bit more because those items we're going to be using on a regular basis. And I want it to last for years and years and years. So definitely when you are shopping and you're looking for sofas and even chairs, dining tables, try to get something of a little, you know, something of good quality. That way it'll last you for years. And that way you don't have to change out those big pieces all the time. You just change out. It's easy to change out a rug and little accessories than to change out your, um, your furniture pieces. So I definitely would recommend you doing that. Okay, you guys, so moving on with the tour. So this is what the overview of the living room is looking like. And we did, and I did end up changing out my chairs. So these chairs here is a new purchase. And these chairs I got from um, Wayfair. They're tufted on the back and then they're tufted on the seat. I absolutely love the detail on it. They're really nice and they actually are, it's a really nice ivory color. It's almost kind of like a white. So it's a really light, beautiful ivory color. They do have it in other colors. I think I've seen it in a navy blue. I think I've seen it in a, in a gray. And I think they even have it in black. They all have this kind of brass detail, um, gold color legs on the bottom, which I think is really nice. as a nice detail. So I have it linked down in the description box below as well. Everything that I mentioned in the video, um, there, if, Everything that I mentioned in the video, if there's a link for it, I'll try to link it down in the description box below. But yeah, I absolutely love these chairs. I switched out my high back chairs or my wing back chairs. I wanted something a little bit low uh, with a lower back. So I wanted something to kind of be on the same scale as the furniture. So you see how the chairs have the same um, shape as the furniture, as the sofa. So I wanted kind of that contemporary modern feel. So I felt like those wingback chairs was not giving that to me. So I ended up selling those and then I ended up replacing them with these chairs here. This little throw blanket I added here, I got last year from TJ Maxx. I got it during the fall season. Quality, very nice and soft. And it just has that nice gray and cream checkerboard um, pattern on there. I don't know if there's a link for this, but if I can find a link, I'll, um, I'll link that below as throw well. Throw pillow here is the, I believe it's the Odin throw pillow by Z Gallery. It is downfield and
I don't really decorate for spring and summer, so I do a little bit here and I try to share with you all a little bit of, you know, ideas of how you can change out or transitions your home throughout the different seasons, but I'm really not a big um, spring and summer decorators so you would just see just little bitty changes here and there most of the time we spend a lot of our time doing projects and trying to catch up on things that we need to redo around the house so that's what we really usually do around this my season is fall and christmas so you'll definitely see a lot of fall content a lot of christmas content those are my favorite seasons i just love it so you'll definitely get a lot more of that content coming up in the upcoming um cozy months so anyway, so let's continue on. So I did change out my drapes here. These drapes I hid in this space before. Um, yeah, these drapes I hid in the space before. I can't remember where I got these drapes from. I'm quite sure I got it from Home Goods. A lot of the times, if you're looking for really good, uh, affordable curtains, I always check Home Goods first if you can find um a map if you can find most of the panels that you would need. i usually have two on these two windows here and then i have four on the dining room window so yeah sometimes you can get lucky and find all of the curtain panels and then sometimes you're not as lucky where you can't find all the curtain panels so i definitely would recommend checking out home goods if you can't check out home if you can't find anything at home goods definitely try jcpenny.com um, Ikea even has some really nice uh, white curtains and Amazon don't sleep on Amazon Amazon has really nice curtain panels as well it's hard to find really good curtain panels that lay that flow right because some of them even with the fabrics or whatever these curtains are made of polyester so I kind of like the way they flow and they lay some curtains um, don't do that so it's kind of hard to find really good panels that actually flow the way you want it to flow so yeah you just have to kind of be on the lookout so anyways, I'll give you a close up of these curtains and then they're like a nice soft kind of gray pewter color. My coffee table I did get from Amazon. I absolutely love it. This table is very heavy, you guys. For the price, is a really good quality. So Amazon has this table and they actually even have the side tables and then they also have a little sofa table. I don't really like the sofa table, but the side table and the coffee table is, I'm telling you, it's very good price. It's very good quality for the price. So absolutely love this table because it kind of gives my modern style plus a little bit of my glam in there because the bottom is mirrored. And then at the bottom, I just have, the bottom is mirrored and then the sides are chrome. So I, at the bottom, I just have my tray that I got from CB2 is a nice acrylic tray with some chrome details so I have that link down below then I have a coffee table book that I got from Amazon then I just have some coasters that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond then up here at the top of the coffee table I have my and this is a new purchase I know you guys have seen this all through YouTube but it's AD at 100 this is actually a really good book a really good read so I definitely will recommend you guys um, checking this out or purchasing it if you see it I got mine from Amazon and actually it was on sale for like $76 because it can probably range over a hundred and some dollars so I did catch mine's on sale so if you see it on sale I definitely recommend you grabbing it a little beaded candle holder that I got from inspire me home decor and I'm dead. I'm just burning this um, white gardenia candle from Bath and Body or Bath and Body Works. And then this little candle snuffer. I just wanted to add like a nice little uh, conversation piece on here. So I got this from Macy's, and this is a Michael Aram little candle snuffer, and it has the gold and silver detail. And actually, it's the same butterfly ginkgo um, line as my canisters in the kitchen. So I'll share with that with you all later on in the video. But yeah, and then on this side. I just have some more coffee table books. All of my coffee table books I always get from Amazon. So make sure you check out my Amazon store because 90% of them, usually all of them are linked down in my Amazon in my Amazon store. So yeah, this little knot was actually a bronze knot, but I just uh, spray painted it black just to match my home. So yeah, so I love it. And then this vase, this marble vase, I absolutely love. It's very gorgeous. I got this from CB2. So, yeah, it's very heavy, you guys. It's very heavy. You can't add real flowers in it because but because it's marble. Um, I don't want it linking throughout, you know, on my table or anything like that. So I tried to just put artificial flowers in it. And I just got some flowers here that I got from Hobby Lobby. 
So, and then that's my coffee table. Now over here on the sofa, I always get a lot of questions on my sofa. I absolutely love my sofa. It just has really nice detailing in it. It's really pretty. It comes off as being, it's kind of like a, it's more like a dark tan, but it also has like a little bit of gray in there as well, because you can see the little beaded detail that it has on the edging. It has this kind of antique nickeled um, beading all around the couch, which is really the fabric nice. itself has like a little bit of the dark tan, white and a little bit of gray. So I absolutely love it. I always get so many questions on my sofa by Bernhardt is the Candace sofa. And um, you can, I got mine locally here in Houston at a furniture store called Gallery Furniture, but you can search online. I think I found maybe two other retailers that maybe carry this online. And one was Wayfair, and I think the other one was maybe Lux Decor, I think. But if you can't find it online, I would definitely direct you to go to the Bernhardt website. And then when you go to Bernhardt website, go into, um, on the left-hand side, they'll have some subcategories. Just click on where to buy, and then you type in your zip code, and it'll bring up all the vendors in your neighborhood or your area that will carry their brands. And then you may have to custom order it, because you, I mean, you can custom order it, and um, you can see if you can find it that way. Pillows I actually got from my throw pillows I actually got from Z Gallery. So the one on the right here with the print or the pattern print is the umpire pillow in charcoal and then the other one is another one of those Odin pillows. So I, I think the gray kind of brings out the sofa a little bit more. I like my neutral, I'm just, my house is very neutral so I love all my neutral colors, but I think the gray just makes my sofa pop a lot more. So yes, yeah, so I decided to bring that back in here. Okay, so now in this little corner, I have these little nesting tables. Got these nesting tables from a collaboration that I did. They just have a marble top. Um, I'll have her information linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested. But okay, I wanted to add some greenery to this side. So I do have some live plants. So this little plant here I got from Home Depot. And I always forget the name of it, but if I can remember the name, I'll put it across the, string, the, across the screen. But... It looks really nice, but I do, and I did add this one. This one is a philodendron, and I added this one to this planter. This planter is, I got this at Home Goods. It was $24.99, very good quality. It's very heavy, very, very heavy. So I need to get another, get one of those plastic drain things going in it because it is hard to lift it up because it's so heavy. But yeah, so she's already got some few new leaves and everything growing on here. At least um, she didn't grew like three or four new leaves, so she likes this spot. So yeah, so that's my little section over there. On this side of the room, I just have another um, chair. I have another matching chair on this side. And then over here on this side of the sofa, I have a little side table. Like I said, this side table matches my coffee table that I got from Amazon. Down at the bottom, I just have a decorative bowl that I got from Home Goods, and it's just filled with some kind of it just filled with some decorative balls that I got from that home store. That ginger jar came from Home Goods. This lamp is a new purchase. It's by a company called TK Lighting. I absolutely love it. It is so gorgeous, you guys. It was just added that really nice detail that I was looking for to my space. So it was, she was kind of pricey, but she was worth it. So she's, she's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so now walking towards my dining room. So my dining room table I got from Wayfair. I absolutely love that it has this kind of like nice whitewash kind of blonde color to it. So that's the that's what I was looking for. The chairs I actually got from Home Goods, which I absolutely love. These are actually some these chairs are really nice. I got these for a steal at Home Goods. They're really nice. It has that nice ivory color to it that I was looking for. My tiny room table, how I have it style, I just have these two little vases or vases I got from Home Goods. They were by, they're by the Tahari Home brand. So I just added this little piece of greenery in there from 
Hobby Lobby. And then this little metal piece is actually from Studio McGee. It was gold, but I just spray painted it black just to kind of match my accessories. So that's what I got going on on the table. And then on the wall, the artwork is from a collaboration that I did. Um, one tip that I would definitely give you guys, if you're trying to find really nice um, artwork that's different from maybe what everybody else got, try to look for a local artist or look for artists on Etsy or even on Google if you kind of Google modern art. And most of these artists always sell kind of reprints of their original because original can be very pricey, up to the thousands of dollars, but you can always get a reprint if they're selling their reprint. So this artist, he was um, actually has his reprints for sale. So I'll have his link, link down in the description box below if you guys are interested. But I absolutely love it because it just matched the mood and the flow of my home. It has my color scheme in there and it's just very modern and abstract. So I absolutely love that painting. Uh, the wall. So this wall actually changed up a bit. This side is where I had my large mirror. So I since moved the mirror to the entryway like I showed you in the previous clip. So I moved my credenza over here and I think it looks very nice and flows better on this side. So I absolutely love this little space that I created here. So this is what is looking like. So if you come in from the, if you're in the dining room, this is the view that you will see in the dining room area here. So that faux fiddly fig I got from Wayfair, the flower pot container that is down here at the bottom came from Target. This credenza I actually got from Home Goods. You see a lot of this stuff came from Home Goods. Not everything, but a lot of the accessory pieces did come from Home Goods and, and other stores. But I love this credenza. It has that modern kind of mid-century vibe to it. Now, yeah. so it has that, that acrylic and then it has that chrome detail in there. So I absolutely love those better. This lamp here I had for a few years and I got this from Home Goods. And then how I styled here, I just have my um, Tom Ford book and I have some gold chains, these gold marble, gold and white marble chains, I absolutely love. I got these from Home Goods. Then here I just have my bust and then I added some little pearls on her neck. And then on this side, I have these beautiful vases you guys have seen a numerous times throughout my home. I got these from a local furniture store here in Houston. Then I just have this little black orb that I got from Z Gallery. Then for the artwork, I, it's a recent purchase. I got these from home goods and i love it because it has kind of like that tempered glass on there it has like see before when i showed you guys i had one in the dining room and then i had one in the entryway and i would think i mentioned in that video that i wanted to put them close together so you can kind of get this full effect of it so i since moved them over here this is where i usually have my mirror but i changed it up and i think i like it better over here it just looks a whole lot better i just love it just adds a really nice um, classy detail to the space this area we're going to walk towards this way going towards the family room and the kitchen and in the family room we kind of keep it really simple in here um, I just want to have it like really clean and nice because we chill in this space. We use it 90% of our time. So I don't have a lot going on in here. I just don't want a lot of decor in here, just enough for us to be comfortable in here. And then it's not kind of cluttering up the space. So I always get a lot of questions on this sectional. This sectional I have had for so many years, probably about maybe six or seven years now. I got it from a local furniture store here in Houston. Um, I believe it was called Star Furniture, but you guys can actually, if you Google Grace Silvers, you can find one that's similar. Area rug I got from Home Goods. It's kind of hard to see because it kind of looks more like a a dark tan, but it does have some um, blue and green and a little bit of gray and ivory in there as well. Those curtains I had up there for a few years now. I had those from I got those from um, I believe Ross. And then the pillows here, those gold, those black and gold ones came from Home Goods. The gray ones came from um, Z Gallery. And I believe it's the Porter pillow. Then on this side, I just have my little mirror coffee table that I got from Wayfair. I have the matching lamp to the lamp that's on my buffet. Like I said, it came from Home Goods that I got from um, a collaboration that I did which was uh, Rose Forever, which these roses are still holding up and they still are doing really nicely. 
and then here on my coffee table this coffee table I got from Amazon I am planning on changing it out I've been looking for a nice ottoman or something like that to kind of go into this space so I'm definitely gonna be changing this out soon I just haven't found the right piece yet everything has kind of been out of stock because of COVID so um, so yeah so that's gonna be coming so right now I just kind of have this little floral flower on there and that's about it just for a while I found mine at the at home it just looks really nice and classy so they've been hanging out here in the hallway so that's where I got that then on my ledger this little Kruger I got from lamps plus and then I just got that little bowl from Home Goods with some little green moss balls that I think I got from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so over here, this area is another one of those niche. So in my house, I have two of those little niche areas. Like I showed you the one that's in the living room that we did the accent wall. So we had another one here on this side that's um, in the family room. So my husband DIY this fireplace. So the insert I purchased from Amazon and then he made a uh, the actual insert for the, well, he made the actual surround for the fireplace. And then up here we have, I just have this vase. I got this vase from Home Goods and I just got some pretty purple flowers in there. I try to add a little bit of uh, summer to the space. So I added those little purple, uh, those little purple stems. And then on this side, I just have some marble canisters. I did get these from Target. So yes, yeah, so I have those linked down in the description box below. Now we're heading over to my kitchen. I'm going to end up voicing over this part because I want to share with you all my patio area as well. So it's kind of noisy out there. But yeah, this is my kitchen island. This is how I have it styled for the moment. So I just added these purple flowers that I got from Michael's. And then these ginger jars, the two larger ones came from Home Goods. A small one came from Ross. The bar stools I got from Home Goods. I love my pendant lights. I got those from Lamp Plus. I love that there's more modern and have that unique kind of tulip shape to them. So yeah, so this is how I have my countertops uh, styled at the moment. I absolutely love how everything is looking. I just like to keep a minimal look on my counter. I don't like to put too much on there. So I just have some cutting boards styled over here. All those cutting boards came from, um, I think between Ross and then those little black pears came from um, Hobby Lobby. And then over here, I just have my smeg toaster that I end up picking that up from Dillard's. Then here I have this little marble tray, which I got from Ross. And then I have this little real cactus here that I have in this little container. The planter came from TJ Maxx. And then I have some scented hand soap. This is in, um, what is this called? This is in Jasmine Flower, which absolutely smells amazing. And then over here, I just have another uh, beaded gold candle holder that I got from Inspire Me Home Decor. And then I'm burning um, fresh lilacs by Bath and Body Works. I always get a lot of questions on these canisters. These is from the, uh, the Butterfly Ginkgo. Yeah, the Butterfly Ginkgo Collection by Michael Aram. So I absolutely love these canisters. So you um, can get them at Macy's and then think they do sell them at Dillard's also. And then I always try to wait till they're on sale and try to um, add to my collection that way. So I definitely would recommend you shopping when Macy's have like their 40 or 30% off sale. So you'll definitely get a really good deal. And then over here on my coffee station, I love my coffee maker. This was definitely a splurge when I remodeled our kitchen recently. It's the Brewville Nespresso Creatista Plus. I absolutely love it. It's, it's, it does have a digital dial and everything on there. So you can kind of select if you want cappuccino, lattes, or coffee. It does come with its own built-in milk frother. And then it just uses an espresso original capsule. If you are a coffee drinker and you love drinking um, Nespresso's and drinking lattes and cappuccinos and things like that, I would definitely recommend you uh, getting this machine. She is a little pricey, but she is definitely worth the price because she is awesome. So yeah, but I just love it. So I definitely have cut down on how many times that I have been going to Starbucks and things like that by using this, um, this coffee machine. And she does have a stainless steel front and then she has like a, um, like a brush nickel siding. And then over here on my coffee station, I just have it simple. I really don't have much on here at all. I am trying to work on um, getting this side 
uh, decorate a little bit more but right now I just have these heart shaped clear mugs that I got from home goods I thought found these little cute little mini bowls from Hobby Lobby so I still have the price on there are $5.99 each I thought that would look really cute in my kitchen I don't even know what I'm gonna use it for at the moment but right now I kind of just have them sitting here on my coffee station this little ginger jar I got from Hobby Lobby as well it was white but I spray painted it black then I just added some faux roses in there and I do keep all of my coffees and everything in my drawers I have all that separated with little dividers and everything so that's why I don't have a lot in that section on my um, counter these little kitchen tiles I got from Target I thought this was really cute to kind of add a little summer touch to my kitchen has this pretty little turquoise and orange and green color in there which I think they were like two or three dollars they're very inexpensive then my teapot I always get a lot of questions on this teapot and I honestly cannot remember where I got it from I think I either got it from Amazon or maybe William Sonoma but it is a hundred percent stainless steel teapot so I hate when you have you buy some teapots and then they get that burntness at the bottom of the teapot so with the stainless steel it's just easy to clean it off and it comes back looking new so I'll try to find the link as if, if I can and I have it linked down below but over here I just have these little oil and vinegar set that I got from West Elm then also I have my little salt and pepper container this is a marble one that I got from Amazon so I do have it linked in my Amazon store and then I just have my Cuisinart knives there my area rug in here not area rug but my runner I did get from Wayfair so when you're standing in my kitchen this way, this is the view that you will see from my backyard, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to take you guys out there and share with you how the patio has been holding up. Now, my island, uh, we did paint our island when we redid our kitchen. This is color is not as black, but it's called a caviar. I think it's called caviar and it's by Sherwin Williams. So it more has more like a chocolatey black color. The other colors that I have that's in my um, home that are on my entry door and my back door here is called Limousine Leather and that's by Bear. Okay you guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and share with you my outdoor patio space. I recently made over my patio area so I'll have that video linked up in the cars above so you guys can kind of see how everything has started. But since then I did add several more plants. As you can see in this clip here, we did paint our back fence. So some of you did suggest that in that video and it's been a work in progress because we have a lot of little projects going on around the house. So as you can see, we have one half of the fence painted and then we didn't have, we haven't painted the other half because it's been raining like nonstop. So it is wet out here when I'm showing you this video. So I'm trying to voice over because it is kind of loud and wet and damp. I'm just trying to give you like a quick overview of some of the plants that I have started this spring. So I did grow some of this basil from seeds. Um, these little cypress trees here I had maybe about a few years ago and they've been in these containers. I also have some lemon coral. I have some super tunias. Um, I did have a salvia here, but it's not looking too high. So, but this is real life. So I'm gonna have to end up um, trying to give it a little bit of chance. Hopefully it'll come back. If not, then I'll have to replace that one. But this is what this little flower bed over here is looking like. Then over here, I started, this flower bed has been here for many years, but I only originally had just three trees in here. So during the spring, when I remodeled my patio, I slowly started to add things to this uh, flower bed. So like those cypress trees that I had on my patio space, I added to this um, to this flower bed as well, as well as my hibiscus tree. I have some um, caladiums in there, some hydrangeas. I have a few shrubs in the back then I also have a knockout rose bush which I have had for like seven years now so she has been grown huge probably needs to be pruned and then also I have some rosemary in there as well then I also did paint the outside of my back door several of you did suggest that so I do think that it adds a nice pop of color to the back patio space as well so thank you for suggesting that only thing that didn't last in this in my patio remake video was that umbrella the umbrella I bought from the at home store it broke within like maybe two or three weeks of me having my patio done so now we have to find something else to kind of go there but my husband is thinking about maybe building a gazebo or something like that to kind of go into that space now i did over here i did start some um, jalapenos and then i have some bell peppers here which is growing in really nicely as you can see here
and then also i have some jalapenos here this jalapeno bush has been growing huge and i got both of these from lowe's then i did purchase a hydrangea from my local grocery store it was doing well in the inside for a few days when i took it outside it kind of scorched it and then it had some damage so now i'm trying to uh revive it and um get it to back to its normal uh growth pack get it back to its normalcy so you see how it has a lot of little new buds on it there so it's slowly getting back and trying to grow some new uh leaves and everything then over here in this little garden bed i absolutely love it it's one of my favorite i have some wicked witch um coleus these start i planted four of these during the spring they were like maybe an inch tall maybe about three or four inches tall and now they are like huge so they are doing so well i love the beautiful burgundy and kind of greenish color that it has on there looks very very stunning and then in the back i have some um misty blue salvia and then i did plant a crepe myrtle over here because i'm hoping that once it gets large it'll provide some shade over here uh over over the patio that way it won't be so um hot over here So now we're back inside. So now we're gonna show you, I'm gonna go this way. So in the hallway, I just have my little mirrors here. I got those mirrors from Kirkland. It's a little pop in this little dark hallway corner here. So this is my laundry room area. Some of you have asked me questions about whether the wallpaper has held up. And the wallpaper, this wallpaper has been holding up marvelously i did pick it up from lowe's it's absolutely gorgeous it just adds a really nice pop to this um lawn this little small laundry room here and um, i have another one of these pictures here that i got from home because like i got on my fireplace um and these little cute little wash dry and fold signs i got from the at home store that little vase came from the at home store these little containers i got from kohl's two years ago i just got some scent bees and washer pods in there everything else i kind of keep up inside of uh these cabinets here then down here on the bottom i just added this area this little rug this rug is a new purchase i purchased this from home goods regions recently and this is uh by tahari home so yeah so that's my laundry room And then over here is my um, my guest bathroom or my second bathroom. I recently did a video on here, so I won't go in here and explain everything in here, but I will link the video up in the cards if you guys haven't watched that yet. Okay, you guys, so now we're gonna head on to my master bedroom. If you guys have made it this far, you are some troopers. So I thank you all so, so much for watching. I just wanna really give you guys a really detailed home tour because I know we do have a lot of new subscribers here. So I do apologize, this video is so long. But over here on this side of my um, room, I have this little mirrored table. I picked this up locally here. Um, and I guess just have some coffee table books I got from Amazon. That little alabaster tray I got, bowl I got from Home Goods. And then those cloches came from Z Gallery as well as the little orbs that are in the inside. Then over here, I have my set tea. I did pick this up from Toll Furniture. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this seat. This little bench here is really cute. It does come in ivory and with gold legs, which is a very stunning color. So I'll have a link in the description box below if you guys are interested. And then the back does have this really cute tufted detail on the back as well. Then on my on the set tea, I just added this beautiful purple pillow here. I got these pillows from the at home store, and they is a really nice deep plum color with a little bit of ivory. It does come in like a mauve color. I think I seen it in gray. I think I even seen it in black. So it comes in several colors as well. And then Home Goods did have some uh, did carry them as well. And then on my bed, I just added this throw. This throw, I believe is the Oslo throw by Z Gallery and is in this pretty deep plum color. And they do have it in other colors too. I believe it comes in like that Tiffany blue. It comes in like a mauve color. So they had, at one point they did carry other, other colors, but it's very soft, very comfortable. My bedding itself um, came from the O&O &O collection from Bed Bath & Beyond. 
and then on the bed i just have some decorative throw pillows those furry ones came from z gallery and then the white ones are pillow covers from amazon and then that little um pattern one is, is came from the at home store then on my husband's side he has really hardly anything on there he likes to keep it really simple so he just has that mova glow i got that from a collaboration and then he has some decorative boxes then on my side i just have this floral arrangement the vase came from um burlington's and then i just have some purple stems that are from amazon now my curtains i did pick up from amazon as well i love these curtains they're very nice and soft they're a velvet material and they just flow really nice all of my curtains in my homes are like 96 inches long and then on this side i just added another decorative mirror i got this mirror from the at home store this mirror here is by Uttermost. I did pick it up from a local furniture store in Houston, as well as the acrylic lamps. But I do have some that's uh, the same brand that's listed in my um, Amazon store. My area rug came from Ross. And I always get a lot of questions on my bed. This bed has been sold out for about at least 10 months now. I don't know if it's ever gonna be back in stock, but I did find one similar at Lowe's. So I'll have it linked down in the description box below. Only thing is that one was in the ivory and kind of dark chocolate um, colored trim. But I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel a lot. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you all so, so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.